All right, you fiends. Today, we're going to work on this motherfucker right here. This hole took a dookie on me, bro. Tell me why I'm driving. I'm driving, right? And the crankshaft pulley, the like harmonic, harmonic balancer, whatever. Bro, that shit falls out. And that shit fell out. And the serpentine belt fell out. And then the car just died. It just like, bro, that shit was just dead. So today, we're going to fix that. Um, apparently you need a tool. I don't know. You need a tool or something. So it's like a special tool from Toyota or some shit. I don't know. But I had to order it off Amazon. Woo! Yeah, so I, I ordered that shit off Amazon. Look, hold on. It's right here. All right, so basically you put this on the crankshaft pulley. And then you put these bolts and you tighten it. And with a breaker bar, you put it right here or some shit. I don't know. I don't, we won't. We won't figure it out, bro, because I ain't no I ain't no mechanic. You know, I just work. I just I just like cars. Oh, also, this is the black interior I got from I had got from the junkyard earlier this week. That's gonna be another video. So yeah, I don't know if that's gonna be like a part one or part two video. That's just gonna be forever. But I gotta go back today and get the dash. So I'm gonna get the dash and I'm gonna get the pulley because I ain't buying a new pulley. That shit like three hundred dollars. Fuck that. It's like 20 bucks at the junkyard. I'm gonna get that for sure. All right, so whenever you do this, whenever you wanna take out the um, serpentine belt, basically there's a tensioner right here. And you know, you got all your pulleys and whatever, and you got your belt. So there's a tensioner right here. It's a 14 mil. So, you know, you wanna, whenever I pull on this, it moves. That's gonna move the, um, it's gonna like release tension from the belt. So I'll be able to take it out. Hold on, let me. So now you can see, so whenever I move this, I'll be able to fit my hand, move that shit out of the way, move that shit, and then, boom, clap, that hole out, just like that, just like some motherfucking Legos, bro, it's not difficult, bro, it's just Legos, bro, it's just bigger Legos, that's all it is, bro, but check me out, look, this basically fucking came off, bro, like, like, why? I shouldn't be able to do that. Oh, yeah. I got an oil leak, too. Yeah, bro. Like, I shouldn't be able to pull that off with my hand. That doesn't make any sense. You know, that's supposed to be on there tight. But apparently, there's, like, a rubber seal right here. And I guess over the time, it just it just wore out. And, and that's why it fell out. So, I mean, shit, I guess, whatever, but... Gonna have to go and get a new one today. That's what we're gonna be doing. Replacing that. And maybe get this dash if I can. Um, You put this on the pulley. And then there's two screws that go right here on the outside. And then a breaker bar, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, you put your ratchet wrench or whatever the fuck on the balancer. And then, boom, that hole should be out. So, I don't know. We're gonna try it. We're gonna see what happens. That shit better work. That shit was like 40 bucks on fucking Amazon. This ain't a how-to video, bro. So don't expect, you know, how-to. If you want to watch a how-to video, go somewhere else, bro. I'm just doing it because I need to. And if not, my car is broken down in the garage. And I can't drive it just like always because my fucking car never works. And yeah. Okay. <laughs> bro. This shit being annoying. I'm going to just take the fucking radiator fans out because it's like them hoes in the way, like in the motherfucking way, like in the middle, bro. So working, working on cars is like the most fucking like, I don't even know, bro. Like if you work on cars, you I don't even got to say anything, bro. You already you already know how that should be. bro. Yeah, pretty much. That's how I feel right now. All right, y'all boys, quick little update. That's out. I put it to the side because I didn't want to disconnect the sensors. I had to move this fucking air box. There, yo, check me out. Look, look at this though. There's a fucking dragonfly in there, bro. Like, yo, what's up with that? I had to disconnect this so I can take the fan out because then it wasn't gonna go through. And then, yeah, now I just gotta take this, this out. And then, that's really all it is. It's just it is. This is the shit that broke.
Check me out. Shit is out. It's out. Lahore is right here in my hand. Stupid. You thought, it was, oh, you thought I wasn't going to do it? And I did it. Because it's right here. Stupid. Look. Oh, baby. I know you see that shit empty, son. Anyways, the fact that I got that shit out now, I don't got to worry about that. There is another tool I'm missing, apparently. It's like a pulley, puller, some bullshit like that. It, it, it has ears and then like three screws that go in it. And it's going to pull the actual pulley out from, you know, where it's supposed to be. So where I just took that screw out, that's where it goes in. You know, you tighten it and then it's going to pull it out. The whole harmonic balancer. I'm probably calling all this shit like the wrong name and I honestly don't care. I just want my fucking car to run. So I got to go to Harbor Freight, get that real quick. And... And then I can go to the junkyard and we'll be straight. We'll be chilling, big chilling, bro. We're gonna be in that bed. All right, so we got the tool, but I never used one of these. And I think what you do is you put this right here. This is a screw that you put in, and this is what's gonna be pulling the pulley. And then there's two holes inside of the pulley, which I'm guessing the other two screws go in, and it's gonna hold it while this tightens, but I don't know. We're gonna see, we'll figure it out, bro. I don't know, it's my first time doing a pulley like this. And like I said, this isn't a how-to video. This is just me working on my freaking car and figuring shit out. All right, so I got the fucking adapter out and this is the two screws that you're gonna, you know, you're gonna put this like this. And then you put the two screws but I gotta figure out which size I need. It's gonna be the same as these, so. Hey, y'all boys. I got that whole set up. I just gotta keep twisting it. Got it out. It's finally out. After like 20 years, finally got that shit out. I'm so fucking like out of breath and tired and hungry. I haven't ate shit all day. I just want to eat, so I'm going to probably go get food and then head to the junkyard, but for the most part, we got this. I'm going to have to hit all this with brake cleaner. Like, this shit is nasty. Like, ugh, bro. Like, like yeah. So we are at the junkyard. We're finna get the balancer, the pulley off of that. Um, this is this is the car I stripped the entire interior from. It's like a black on black. Yeah, you can see I, I fucking took everything. I was gonna take this, but you know, it's all ripped up. Somebody ripped it up before I could get it, and I gotta get the dash. But it's like fucking lightning and thunder out right now, and. Right now, I'm just trying to get the fucking pulley. So I might come back for that tomorrow. If not, <clears throat> if not, I might keep going at it today. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it out today. Just because the fact I don't even have a way to get it home. It's not going to fit in my fucking E36. That's just small as fuck. But there's a pulley right there. It's all like dirty and shit, but it's the only one here. And... I'm not about to pay $300 for another one. So if it works, it works. Fuck it. If not, I guess I lost 20 bucks. Uh -huh. It should work though. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out now. So I might be a little fucked. It's like raining hella hard over there. You can kind of see it. And it's starting to rain over here. Fucking beautiful Florida weather. Because I was just at home and it wasn't raining shit. But it looks like I'm about to do this shit in the fucking rain. Ain't that some shit, huh? So I got my first Baker bar set up. It's right here. It's literally raining, like hella rain, but I got it set up right here. It's gonna be like acting like if somebody was holding it, it's gonna be holding the pulley while I'm breaking loose. This bolt, it rains like every fucking 10 minutes and then just stops and it be raining hard as fuck. So I broke the bolt loose. I was recording, but my fucking phone fell, so I don't even know if I got it. 
Um, this one came out way easier. Way easier than the one at home. I don't know why, but shit, I ain't even complaining, bro, because I'm trying to get the fuck out of here. I'm going to take this with me just in case I strip mine. Or, I don't know. I just like to take the bolts always, just in case something happens at home. So, I have a spare bolt or nut. Nah, nigga. Oh hell no. See, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, but I, I, I don't even know, man. I need to get the, I need to get the fuck out of here before I get struck by some lightning or some shit. Bro, it is literally raining so much fucking hard. Bro, you can't even see this shit on camera, bro. Like, look at my fucking shit. That shit turning into. A that shit is a pool, nigga. Like, bro. It's it's raining, right? But your boy's fire. I'm I'm fire. You know I'm fire with the shit, and I got it out. It is no longer in there. It is in my cart. I'm holding it in my hand, cause I'm fire like that. All right. So, bro, I ain't gonna lie, I took that shit out fast as fuck. So, now, I'm going, gonna go pay for it, get in my car, dry my nutsack off, and my ass, and everything, because I feel violated by the fucking, by nature right now. I'm fucking soaking wet, you know, my balls and shit hanging low. That's my knees, and you know, I, I ain't fucking with it. I ain't fucking with it too much, all right? Not fucking with it. <laughs> Alright, but Alright, but let, let go, let go, let go. Balancer. Car. Put it in. So everything's back together. Now um I have radiator fans, the box the air box, the fucking pulley, the fucking serpent seat belt, everything's back in. And now we just gotta turn it on and see if everything works. Looks like everything's working fine. I mean, I don't hear any weird squealing sounds like it was doing earlier with the old fucking pulley. Um, the fans are on. All right, y'all boys. So I'm here at the gas station with all the homies. We better go get some rollers. I dead ass, I'm not gonna lie, I dead ass forgot to fucking record all that shit. But we're here. We're gonna go get some rollers. Um they're gonna be on my Instagram and TikTok. And if you wanna see like all the good ones, they're gonna be posted on there. I don't know. That's this is gonna be the end of the video. Whatever rollers I put, you'll see. If not, hey, I'll see y'all boys in the next video. We out. What? Been a whole year and I still don't know who to pop my pouch. Hey, but I ain't gon' tell nobody, cause that's how I was taught. What? And the cops can't what? find nobody, cause I'm boy too soft. You ain't lying. And you read what you saw, but I pray get a plane in the plot. Yeah. Whole lot of tape and a whole lot of chop. Yeah. Couple new hunters for a brand new block. Yeah. What else? <laughs> and I ain't gon' fold, and I ain't gon' talk. What and up? I probably won't find them foes, but I ain't gon' stop. Hey, so please don't try to ask me why I might go insane Whole lot of shit, gun chains in my fucked up brain Since my first love got fucked by a lame man nigga Uh, no name man nigga 599 for the hands that nigga Hey, but big bro said don't trick look buddy That shit build character That's right Better get your carrots up Cause them hoes ain't never gonna care enough